We have broken the gems with recovery agent, and now we're ready to perform the Dynabead cleanup step. We have our cleanup buffer, which was thawed for 10 minutes at 65 degrees Celsius on a thermomixer at max speed. We verified there were no visible crystals and cooled to room temperature. We have reducing agent B, which we equilibrate to room temperature, and vortex. We verify there is no precipitate and spin down. We have nuclease-free water. We have our dynabeads, which have also been equilibrated to room temperature. Finally, we have a freshly prepared solution of 80% ethanol. We're ready to prepare our dynabead cleanup mix by adding the reagents in the order shown in the user guide. Calculate the volume of each reagent that you will need for your number of samples, including 10% reagent volume overage. First, we add the cleanup buffer. Next, we vortex the dynabeads for 30 seconds to resuspend them. Vortex the dynabeads thoroughly immediately before adding to the mix. Aspirate the full liquid volume in the dynabead tube with a pipette tip to verify that the beads have not settled in the bottom of the tube. If clumps are present, pipette mix to resuspend completely. Do not centrifuge before adding to the mix. We add thoroughly vortex dynabeads. Reducing agent B and nuclease free water. Then we vortex mix thoroughly. We immediately add 200 microliters Dynabeads cleanup mix to each sample. If the mix has been sitting for any period of time, be sure to vortex it again before adding it to each of the samples. We pipette mix 10 times with a pipette set to 200 microliters. Then, incubate at room temperature for 10 minutes. Do not cap the tubes at this point because they are too full. Pipette mix again at approximately 5 minutes after the start of the incubation to resuspend the settled beads. Ensure that the samples are thoroughly mixed with the silane beads to achieve optimal recovery. While the Dynabead cleanup mix is incubating, we'll prepare Elution Solution 1 by adding the reagents in the order shown from the user guide. We combine buffer EB Ten percent tween twenty and reducing agent B. Vortex mix thoroughly and then briefly spin down. After the ten minute incubation step is complete, place the tube strip into a ten X magnetic separator in the high position until the solution clears. A white interface between the aqueous phase and recovery agent is normal. Carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Now we're going to perform the ethanol washes with freshly prepared 80% ethanol. Always use fresh preparations of 80% ethanol. First, we add 150 microliters of 80% ethanol twice to the pellet while on the magnet for a total volume of 300 microliters and let stand for 30 seconds. Carefully remove and discard the ethanol wash. Then we add 200 microliters of 80% ethanol to the pellet and let stand for 30 seconds. Carefully remove and discard the ethanol wash. Centrifuge the tube strip briefly and return it to the 10x magnetic separator in the low position. Remove and discard any of the remaining ethanol and allow the samples to air dry for one minute. Remove the tube strip from the magnet and immediately add Elution Solution 1. Pipette mix thoroughly with the pipette set to 30 microliters until the beads are fully resuspended and avoid introducing air bubbles. Incubate at room temperature for two minutes. Place the tube strip in a 10x magnetic separator in the low position until the solution clears.
transfer 35 microliters of purified Gem RT product to a new tube strip. We've completed our post Gem RT Dynabead cleanup. Next, we'll proceed with the cDNA amplification step. 